Hello and assalamu alaikum uh, to all. I am Sara Fatma, PhD scholar at National Institute of Psychology, Kairi University, Islamabad. Before the formal start of my presentation, I would like to uh, thank organizing conference committee uh, who gave me the opportunity to present my work on this platform. I would like to introduce my co-authors, Dr. Jamilia Malik, who is associate professor at National Institute of Psychology, Professor Dr. Rubina Hanif, who is director, National Institute of Psychology, Kairi University. Islamabad. The topic which I'm going to present is uh, primary appraisal moderating between trauma exposure and mental health symptoms among journalists. The present study is funded by Higher Education Commission Pakistan under the grant number given below. I would like to start from the introduction. Um, trauma exposure, basically trauma can be primary and secondary. Here we will focus on the secondary traumatization. Secondary traumatization may develop from seeing or hearing about a traumatic event, or caring for someone who has experienced such an event. Primary appraisals individual evaluates a situation concerning its significance for well-being. It includes harm and loss appraisal, threat appraisal, and challenge appraisal. Harm and loss appraisal refers to any kind of harm, loss, or damage that has already been sustained. Third appraisal refers to anticipated harm, loss, or damage, and challenge appraisals involve assessing whether a transaction holds the potential for harm and the potential for mastery or gain. Here I want to mention that harm and loss appraisal and threat appraisal and negative appraisal of the situation and the challenge appraisal is a positive appraisal of a particular situation. Further moving on to the mental health symptoms, health illness are health conditions involving changes in emotions, thinking or behavior. Mental illness are associated with distress or problems functioning in social, work or family activities. Rationale of the present study includes, as it is well established, that continuous exposure to traumatic events accumulate stress and affect mental health of individuals. Media professionals covering incidents are in ones more at risk as they are not trained to handle trauma in comparison to other at risk populations such as firefighters, police, and health professionals. It is expected that investigating the primary appraisal will unveil the underlying mechanism of relationship resulting in least mental health consequences. The finding of the present study will facilitate in designing the training modules to prepare media professionals to work in risk situations while avoiding mental health consequences. Moving on to the objectives of the present study. Objectives of the present study is to investigate the role of primary appraisal as moderator in the association between trauma exposure and mental health symptoms. Sample of the present study comprised of 625 uh, journalists, 440 male journalists, and 185 female journalist with age ranging from 20 to 60 years. And this research design of the study was cross-sectional. Instrument in the present study, uh, which were used, includes journalist trauma exposure scale with alpha reliability 0.84, depression anxiety stress scale with alpha reliability 0.89, and primary and secondary appraisal scale with alpha reliability 0.77. Here I want to mention that as a prerequisite for content validation, the instrument of the present study were reviewed by a panel of experts. The reviewer recommended modification and adaptation of journalist trauma exposure scale and primary and secondary appraisal scale. As JTES did not incorporate some, some indicators which are indigenously, indigenously important, after literature review, 10 questions were generated for journalist trauma exposure scale. Subject matter expert being was taken and some items were modified and some were discarded. Only four additional items were retained based on the percent agreement, which includes uh, the items related to the mob activities, items related to uh, blasphemy, items related to cyber harassment, and items related to street crimes. Further moving on to the primary and secondary appraisal adaptation, uh, as the primary and secondary appraisal adaptation did not incorporate the harm and loss appraisal component of transactional model of stress. After literature review, 10 questions were generated for harm and loss dimensions. Eight items were retained based on the person agreement. 
further moving on to the research section of the present study, table one indicates uh, moderating effect of primary appraisal for trauma exposure in predicting mental health symptoms. First, we can see that harm and loss appraisal has a direct effect on mental health symptoms. For stress, its effect value is 0 0.57, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01. And for anxiety, its value is 0 0.55, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01. And for depression, it is 0 0.53, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01. Here we can see the uh, interaction between a trauma exposure and harm and loss appraisal. The interaction effect is 0 0.01 for stress, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01, and it explains 52% of the variance. For anxiety, it is 0 0.01, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01, and it explains 51% of the variance and for depression it is 0 0.01 significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01 and it explains 49 percent of the variance second moving on to the threat appraisal um, here we can see that the threat appraisal has a positive direct effect on mental health symptoms uh, for stress its effect is 1.02 Two uh, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01, and for anxiety, its effects value is 1.23, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01, and for depression, it is 1.19 at the alpha level of 0 0.01. Here we can see the interaction term between trauma exposure and threat appraisal. Its effect for stress is 0 0.01 significant at the alpha level of 0 0.05, and it explains 51% of the uh, variance, and for anxiety, it is 0 0.02, which is significant at alpha level of 0 0.01, and it explains 54% of the variance, and for depression, it is 0 0.02, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01, and it explains 51% of the variance. Here we can see the challenge appraisal uh, has a negative effect on mental health symptoms as uh, its effect value for stress is minus 1.24 uh, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01 and its effect value for anxiety is uh, negative 1.33 at the alpha level of 0 0.01 and for depression it is minus 1.26 significant at the alpha level of 0 0.01 we can see the interaction term effect between trauma exposure and challenge appraisal, its effect value is only significant for anxiety, which is minus 0 0.01, significant at the alpha level of 0 0.05, and it explains 52% of the variance. If I conclude my results, uh, then we can say that uh, if a person is appraising a stressful situation as threatening or harm, uh, harm and loss, then the person will develop mental health symptoms, you know, which leads them to stress, anxiety, and depression. But if a person is appraises that particular situation, which is a stressful situation as challenging, then the person will have low level of anxiety, or there will be less chances to develop mental health symptoms for that particular person. Conclusion of the present study, uh, is that uh, healthy coping strategies such as offering training and professional uh, development on crisis reporting and encouraging journalists to assist mental health resources are needed to promote the well-being of the journalist. References of the present study are given below and at the end. Thank you for listening. That's all from my side.